The views and opinions of this broadcast do not reflect the views and opinions of Armed Media, Unu Productions and its affiliates. Enjoy the show. Tax the rich, feed the poor, tell There it is. Welcome to Pot Talk, everybody. I'm Jimmy Bell. And I'm Paul Daniels. Uh, we did Les's show this Wednesday. Yeah, uh, just, just uh, for- scheduled with Les Skymo and the Dave. They're on at uh, Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, and I actually, had, I really had a good time because I had to watch my language because you know how Les is about that. Yeah. And, uh, it was really fun because it, because it made me stay on my toes to make sure I didn't swear and stuff. So I had a fun time, and I'm uh, and I I'm really appreciative that uh, Les trusts us enough to let us do his show because I know he he has a real bond with his audience and doesn't want to break that, you know. Les, if you're listening, uh, don't don't send out your show yet because Paul told me that I uh, I I I, re- I record your show, so what I can do is I can. Uh, Edit it. Edit. I can edit it out the swears. So before you send it out, I'll give you the one without the swears in it. Uh, but then again, but thanks, Dave, and I last for letting us do your show. First subject, Jim. We got WMUR News, Corey Booker. Ah, yeah. WMU, uh, WMUR yes. News is uh, the local... Uh, Channel 9 up in New Hampshire. Yeah, they're the ABC Manchester. Affiliate. And um, they did a story on um, large crowd... Uh, Cory Booker speaks to a large crowd in Exeter. There was literally about 50 people there. That's what that's what i seen. And, and the... the and you would think in New Hampshire, right? Because most people from uh, other parts of the country, they think New Hampshire's fairly conservative, right. which it used to be. Used to be. But now they, all the crap from Mass is coming over the line and coming up here for the welfare and whatnot. But you have one major uh, like local affiliate here, which is Channel 9. Um, a totally liberal. Uh, they, they are god-awful. Uh, they are so out of touch with the average New Hampshire. Is that how you say it? New Hampshire. Er. <laughs> New Hampshire rights. New Hampshire. <laughs> New Hampshire. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> <laughs> it, it it just amazed me that they said large crowd. Oh my God! What a joke. Well, Edson is a small town, so I kind of got to give them a little on that one. But still, fifty, sixty people is not a large crowd. That's a cocktail party. You know what I mean? So, just wanted to get that out there because I I, I hate our local news affiliate. And the funny thing is, I've met a couple of the uh, people on the station. Uh, nice people. But it's obviously driven by uh, the people upstairs, their policy. It's not, it's not the people on the screen. You know what I mean, Jimmy? Right. What are you doing? I am setting up so that when we're done with the show. No, no, don't do it on the air. I have to do it on the air. I'm going to put a song in. So at least you'll <laughs> give me that length of that song to get those on. Oh, okay, all right. I'm right. only Hurry putting up. one up. Hurry up. All right. I hate when I'm fucking sitting here doing the show by myself. And, and, and I'm done with WMUR. They stink. They stink. That's why, and you know what? I actually listen to the uh, Massachusetts stations because they're not as bad, a couple of them. Right. Yeah. Well, there are a lot of uh, Republicans in Mass. Well, just because there's more people. No, but they're like left of center Republicans. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that, well, what would you call that? Well, that's Baker. That's not a Republican. He is a Republican. Well, he's in the party, but he's not a Republican. He's not. He's a rhino. Well, yeah, he's worse than a rhino. Well, I guess, yeah, rhino. And I had such high hopes for him when he came into office. 
We're uh, hoping Jeremy and uh, Joshua will join us tonight. They're both trying to get home. So we'll see what happens on that front. Right. Uh, what was the other thing I wanted to talk about? Uh, oh, Virginia. Oh, yeah. I, I watched a video today from this guy. I, and, um, I forget his name. I wish I could put it so I could put, tell people. Uh, oh, was he an actor? No, 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 no. He does a blog. And uh, he was talking about how Northam's thinking about bringing up the National Guard to enforce the, the laws that he's right. going to enact. It's not going to happen. Because if he brings up the National Guard, that's state level, right? Yeah. Well, then Trump at the federal level can override them. I believe it's called nationalizing or something like that. Yeah. He nationalizes the, the National Guard. Oh. Right. And he tells them, no, you stand down. You're in violation of the Constitution. Uh, you're in violation of the Second and Fourth Amendments right. of the Constitution. Like right to bear arms and uh, illegal search and seizure. They can't just come kicking your fucking door in. Because something's been declared illegal yeah. that was it that was perfectly Which legal. is totally unconstitutional. They're declaring it. Oh, oh, and here's another thing. You know how they said you can only carry ten rounds? Oh yeah. yeah. Right? So that means because it, it, with like a semi automatic you can put in different size clips. Yeah. And even though you only got ten in there, the fact that that gun is capable of holding a bigger clip makes it illegal. Even if you have the right size clip in there. Just the fact that the gun was manufactured to take a bigger one. Is that insane? If they just want to confiscate guns. They want to give you pellet guns. Mm. That's what you're going to be running around with. Yeah, that bolt action, lever action. You know, not for nothing, a bolt action rifle's nice if you got a couple seconds to, you know, plot your shot. Yeah. <laughs> One more song. You really are becoming a pain in the ass. Well, four minutes. So, yeah, um, basically karate classes, stuff like that. Shit like that's going to be illegal, Jim. You can't gather. Private citizens cannot gather to engage in acts that, that teach self-defense, stuff like that. I don't know what they're going to consider it, what they're going to call it. I mean... They're probably going to say, well, that's militia. Well, first of all, militia is not illegal. And second of all, uh, no, it's people gathering. Exactly. You have the right to assembly. Right. You have the right to protect yourself. So why wouldn't you be allowed to assemble to teach each other to protect themselves? And it's this, insane. Well, you know what it is, and this started in the 70s or something when the liberals come around and they just want to file up. It was when they, uh, they, didn't, they, they didn't want, they were teaching kids in schools that having a gun in your house is totally crazy. Anybody that owns a yep. gun. Turn, them, turn your parents in. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, when I went and seen my doctor, she asked me, uh, do you have any guns in the house? I'm like, yep. Yeah. She just looks at me, I'm like, should I say no? She's like, no, nah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. I mean, you, you live in New Hampshire. It, that's like owning... Uh, it's like living in the Wild West. You could have six shooters on your hip. Yeah. You know what I mean? And ride a horse if you want. The thing is, an armed society is a polite society. Mm -hmm. It's a fact. It's a fact. Look how fast that guy in Texas... Stop the maniac. That's how there was not many people back in the Western days. There weren't that many people in jail. Because they either got killed. You know what I mean? But there wasn't a lot of people carrying handguns back then either because they were so expensive. I mean, that was like buying a, a mansion. Right, so <laughs> I, I, the, I guess the rifles were cheaper than Most handguns. Most people were carrying the long guns. Yeah, because yeah, there was more machining for the handguns. Yep, handguns were very expensive. But, you know, most of them towns weren't as crazy as they said. I mean, that's, you know, it's, it's a little bit of fact and a, a little bit of, uh, you know, taking license with it. So you, when a movie, you make a movie, it looks cool like Tombstone, you know? But up here, do what you want. As long as, well, uh 
Same kind of st- Now the Democrats own a, the legislature up there. What do you mean? Dem- it's Democrat legislature. We yeah, got a Republican governor. Yep. I know we got a Republican governor. And he's a good one. I like him. The only thing well, I don't like I, is... I can see that changing, because even the up here in New Hampshire, because they used to be conservative, they're not going this far left. The only people are, are the blacks and minorities that come up here for mass. They're the ones that are going to go that far Right, and a lot of independents are going back the other way. Right, exactly. Because they've just said, whoa, did not sign up for that. No, very few people want Medicare for all. Very few. Most people like their insurance. Well, Medicare for all is going to be Medicare for none. Well, yeah, everyone will be in the same boat. Horrible. It'll be a horrible sinking boat. It'll be the fucking Titanic. But that's all, that's how liberals think. If I'm going down, I should be able to take everyone with me. Well, why should you take me with you? I didn't do anything, and I don't have a lot of shit. But what little I got, I want to keep. And yet, I'm a monster for that, Jimmy. I'm a of monster. Course. I don't care about my fellow man. Shit. It's like they didn't care about me when they stopped smoking in bars. Yeah. yeah Look at a just... non-smoking section. That wasn't good enough. No, so, so, you know what I mean? The, the B and HVAC is for ventilations. They actually got companies that can put it in for you. Yeah. Do you know what? I When I worked for the highway... But no, it was just get rid of the smokers. Oh, it was... It was a, Retaliation. Jimmy, when I worked for the highway department, right, I used to have to walk the big dig the whole length of that tunnel with the power shovel and push the stuff out for the uh, for the sweepers to come up and get it, get it off the edge so the sweepers could get it. Have you ever breathed the air in the tunnel, the big dig? It is fucking noxious. Well, they didn't have they didn't, hands the, in you. The said. state didn't give a shit. About me walking through that tunnel, though. No, God only knows where I was sucking in. And by the way, that takes like 25, 30 minutes to walk. <laughs> it's three miles, I believe. Is it three miles? Oh, yeah. then it takes a lot longer than that. <laughs> About 15 minutes a mile to walk. And you got to remember, I was fishing a power broom. So that's going to slow you down a little. But nobody seemed to care about that, Jim. It's amazing. Uh, <clears throat> There's a girl that lives in the neighborhood. She was trying to tell me that secondhand smoke is worse yeah, than first than first-hand smoke. I just looked at her. I go, are you high? She doesn't even smoke. <laughs> She's like, yeah. I go, where did you hear that? She said, oh, I forget where it was. New show like Good Morning America or uh, something like that. A liberal station. Yeah. I go... No, that's physically impossible. I'm inhaling this directly. And it sticks to your lungs. Your lungs are wet. They're moist. So when you take the smoke, the tar, the nicotine, it all sticks to your lungs and you're blowing out the excess. Is there tar and nicotine in it? Yeah, but nothing like the first smoke. Exactly. I mean, the first hit. And don't forget, the second you blow it out, it's being dispersed in the air. Yeah, it ain't like I'm blowing it down your throat. Oh, remember when uh, the liberals were all big on um, obesity? Obesity, before they became um, body positive. Body positive. Yeah, now it's, cool. it's okay to be fat, Jim. Uh, yeah, because everyone should be happy about their body. If you're a gigantic slob. Right. But five years ago, obesity was going to be the end of Earth. And I... Uh, yeah, they would. They would. They yeah, came up with against your health. They, yeah. they wanted everybody to be well because you healthy. can only eat what I tell you you can eat. That's what it was all about. Uh, oh, you didn't mention the Virginia thing again about the uh, self defense. You said, uh, yeah, I'll come back to it, but because uh, I'm in the middle of a thought, um, da, 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 obesity, blah blah blah. Oh yeah, uh, they they came uh, came up with secondhand obesity. If you hang around with somebody that's obese. You're most likely to be obese. I'm like, you right, gotta you be. Eat every time he does. Fucking kidding me. Yeah, stupid. It, 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 and, it and these people think they're well educated. They're idiots. And the obesity. Remember with Michelle Obama, her lunch program? Yeah. She wanted to stop obesity. Now it's great to be obese. 
You should be happy with the body you're in, Jimmy. Well, because we're giving him anxiety by telling him. Yes, because we're be. mean. Yeah, we're bullies. So yeah, because this is the media trying to um, play society. Well, that's because this is how we want to go, and we're going to narrate this way for you to understand. Yeah, and, and like, because Jimmy, I know all the time. I just walk up to random people, fat people on the street, and go. Wow, you're fat. How dare you? Yeah, yes, you're taking my childhood. <laughs> exactly. You're sucking up all my oxygen. I should be at Burger King having tacos. How dare you? <laughs> She's probably farting more than cows. You know what I mean? <laughs> Global warming. We're just From taking a time out here for a fucking shoddy joint here. That's a that's a good joint. Uh, I don't know why I said shoddy, but it's a joint. It's a joint. We just scored, so we need to fucking brush up and see how this stuff is. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. It's a mix of two weeds. Yeah, you get a quarter of this and a quarter of that, and two and a half ounces. I didn't know what I couldn't tell the difference between them. Yeah, by yes. looking at it. So I had to get fried from the shit, Jim. That's all that matters. I love people when they give you like, like it's wine. Mm. It's like it's got earthy tones and a bit of citrus. It's like go go fuck a flag, will you? Does it get you? I high? noticed a lot of the young kids today when they smoke that they, they smoke it like a cigarette. They suck it in. They don't hold it. They just blow it right back out again. Well, what's the good of that? Like I said, you don't get high. I do a huge hit and wash it down with a shot. <laughs> and that's why they'll die young. <coughs> they haven't toughened themselves up. Because <coughs> I sound really great. <laughs> well, that's the pot. The pot, man. Pot, man. What do we got for another subject? I don't know. What Let's do the cigarettes, 21. Ah. Yeah, it's National 21. My everybody in the, every state, rather. Yeah. Uh, can you see that? Now? Yesterday, you could go into the store. Doesn't that laws. totally go against the Constitution, where the states have the right to come up with their own laws? Yeah. Their own Constitution? Mm -hmm. uh, so why are they saying we can do this federally? Why? Because if a state said, no, we're not going to do it, all the fucking loudmouth liberals would come out and fucking just, it's just easier to just go with it. You know, yesterday I could smoke. Today I can't. That's it's illegal. Them, um, the fuck? That's them interrupting our society. Interruption of our uh, progress with you the society. Don't. They're putting We're, a cog in the wheel. It's, it's always fucking... Did you ever notice um, the only, all the fucking fun shit, right? When you turn 18, you become an adult. They take away until you're 21. But all the shitty stuff. Oh, boy, you got to deal with that. Taxes, child support, right. fuck jury duty, fucking surf. Well, you don't got to deal with the military. So their priorities are fucked up. When you're 18, you should be allowed to do anything a 50-year-old guy should be able to do. You're an adult. You know, they love to pick and choose. That's a Democrat thing, by the way. It's all pick and choose. It used to be the Republicans. And I'll give it that. But the Republicans have actually gone back to their roots of, uh, you know what, live and let live, man. <laughs> live and let live. That used to be the Democrat mantra. Ain't no more. It, their mantra now is, live as I tell you. Even the religious right doesn't tell us what to do really anymore. If they don't like the way we act, they just go away. Or they tolerate how you are. I'll tell you, like I said, I'm not a religious person. I'm, I'm very not religious. But I find the, the religious people, are far, well, in Christianity or Judaism, are far more tolerant than the left are. Well, I don't believe in abortion. You're a fucking monster, you piece of shit, motherfucking sucker. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just said I don't believe in it. I didn't even tell you what it is, which it is, murder. Abortion's murder. 
But even if you soften the blow to a Democrat, or a liberal, I should say, yeah, the same fucking thing, uh, they just lose their shit. They can't handle anything they don't disagree with. I mean, anything they disagree with. Did you really tell me about the uh, edit in the show? Yes, I swear to God, I did. Was I doing something on the computer? Because I don't remember. Yeah, you were uploading the show. Oh, and so I, we were sitting there talking. I was asking you about because we were going to head back to my house. And uh, did we ever go back to my house? No, you left. Oh, okay. And uh, I said, I go, if you want to search through that, you can um, edit the words out. I go, it'll probably take you forever because you were fucking stewed. I'm not stewed. You were. <laughs> So you just said it. It's only two fucking words. Oh, it feels so good to swear. I feel so free. Yeah, I caught myself swearing just now, but I didn't stop. I feel like a chick with big tits when they get home and take their bra off first thing. I just feel free. <laughs> I always imagine what that felt like. Uh, I imagine it feels like when you, you've been well, on your feet all day. Wearing work boots and you kick them off. It must feel the same as adjusting your nuts. I, it, like I you said, know it, what I mean? it feels like taking your shoes off after a day being on your feet. Oh my god, that feels so fucking good. <laughs> and then here comes some fucking drunk guy, starts fiddling with them. <laughs> like, you know what? I just released these things. Go the fuck away. Back in 15. <laughs> uh, right. When we were kids, I started smoking at 14. My I parents had no problem with I it. I did at 10, and I mean by start smoking at 10 that I was <coughs> taking a uh, change out of my, uh, my... My brother had a... It looked like a, a cash drawer. It had little separate dimes, yep, quarters, yep, 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 yep. nickels, and all that. Well, I would take 28 cents out a day, but not a buy a pack of cigarettes. And me and another, and you get high off of them. Oh, back then, yeah. Back then, yeah. yeah. I started smoking weed before I started smoking cigarettes. I did my first line of before I did, um, before I smoked a cigarette. I was forced to quit at 14 because he got married, and there was no more for me to buy cigarettes. How do you not find, be able to find a fucking quarter? I, I, it was a lot of money back then. They didn't. You found pennies, but... uh. I used to sit in front of my road and wait for people to ride by and flick out their cigarettes. I, and I'd go run up and go smoke them. I buy my pack of cigarettes now, right? Hook. And there's like 40 cents. I just put it in the fucking thing where you put the pennies. <laughs> like, I don't even want this in my fucking pocket. <laughs> they didn't have them back uh, Penny jars or whatever. Yeah, take a penny, leave a penny. They weren't around back then. Oh, they weren't mass anyways. They might have been in the Midwest. Coming from the country days in the West. Good idea, because it saves the cashier a lot of bullshit. Right. Well, what they should do is not charge prices where you're dealing in pennies. For the, um, Australia, no more pennies. Right. Everything's to, to, to a nickel. We should get rid of the penny. It actually costs more than a penny to make a penny. Well, back then, penny, you could buy a lot of shit with the penny. Well, you could get a piece, you know, a penny candy. You can't buy nothing with the penny anymore. No. Uh, even the lowest part of the gas is still nine-tenths of a cent. <laughs> even the gumball machines are like ten cents or a quarter now, right? Uh, you know what? I haven't even seen a gumball machine uh, before. You don't see them. I know. That company probably went out of business. Every once in a while, you'll see one of them little... Hides out in front of the shopping center, far and few between. That you know what it is. The uh, it's out of the United States. They're being built, and you can order them. Yeah, um, Kmart had one. It was the Flintstone mobile. I was like, oh, you know, and I want to fucking buy that thing and put it in the. I, well, my place is too. Big. <laughs> but if I had a big enough place, I would buy that and put it in my fucking <laughs> living room. The thing was super cool looking. All shiny and it looked just like the Flintstone mobile. <laughs> I'm good with that. You good? We're ready. Let me get my voice back. Fucking hit the volume in there. That'll help. Yeah, it did. The ice cold helps the throat. Yeah, that's why I put my beers up in the freezer, bro. 
Get them right to the point they're about to freeze. That's what I like. Slight slush. Super, exactly. Exactly. The crystals are just starting to form. Exactly. You got it in town. Fucking my buddy Dave and Catherine, uh, his girlfriend, they could drink fucking... They just literally left it in the living room. Sick. On the floor, yeah, no, oh. I know. I couldn't drink one. Oh, no. the After of it six, I'd be puking. I couldn't even take a sip off one. I'd just blow it right the fuck back out. I don't like wine. For the same age, you got to drink a wine. Uh, actually, you don't. Yeah, well, they call it chilled. It's like 62 degrees. Uh, my ex, Jill, she used to put it in the fucking freezer and then take it out, get it cold. Well, she used, she put it in the freezer one night. I said, don't do that. It'll... It'll right, burst. and she said no. The alcohol. I said there's not enough alcohol in it. Then it burst, and she never. She put it up there for a little while, and then put it back in the fridge. It had like this. It was like a like a slushy, like a slushy. You know, just all over the fucking food in the freezer. <laughs> Come here. I want to show you something. The fuck is that? It shouldn't have frozen. It has alcohol in it. It's not enough 40% alcohol. percent alcohol well, doesn't freeze. Free. Yeah, it freezes. It well, I know, I know that. And it separates right. out. Yeah. Yep, had that happen before. That's why you got to be careful with your beers. We put them up there for a certain amount of time, but drink a fucking um. My stepdaughter, she can drink warm beer. Samantha. Oh, oh Samantha. Yeah. Yeah. She's taking my wife to Ireland. Well, she obviously does a power drink, because you can't drink more than three beers before you're getting sick off the fucking thing. <laughs> She's not a power drinker, but she can drink. I can put it down. I mean, she's nowhere near me. But, hey, I, I mean, found uh, this morning, waking up in the car and... Hello? What's happening? What's up? Uh, Happy New Year's. Happy, Happy New, New Year's. Year's. What's Josh going on, guys? And I... hey, hey, everybody. How's it going? It's Josh here. Late. Fashionably late. Yep. That's all right. You came in. What time is it? Ah, it's 8.30 right. about. Well, you made it right in halfway. Uh, we did awesome. Lessons. We did Lessons show on Wednesday. Just me and Jimmy. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Lesson Dave took the night off. Oh, no shit. Yep, yep. I didn't swear once. I swear. Oh, oh, he gave you the. Oh, so he gave you his show to do for the. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's fucking awesome. What did you yeah. guys talk about? Uh, uh, socialism, Virginia, Baghdad Embassy, cigarettes, twenty one. Oh, okay. And then uh, Jimmy talked a little about shooting up. Yeah, nice. I know another show and say, no, I never shot myself up. I couldn't do that, but somebody else has. And I had to watch because this person <laughs> ain't a nurse. I'm like, can, <laughs> we, sure she I'm like, can, we, right. can we change the subject? And Jimmy's like, oh, shit, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, did you guys just hear the news that just came in? No, what? Trump just got six more of them in Iraq. What do you mean six more? Six more of those motherfuckers from the uh, Al Qaeda, whatever. The he did another was. strike, you mean? Yeah, yeah. He just got six more people. Wow. Yes. And and that just know? came in. And now all the war hawks in the Democratic Party are all crying. Well, he's making us look weak. Then he does an airstrike, and they're like, "He's inflaming the area." It's like, which, well, which one? Yeah. Did you hear fucking? You hear that Hollywood actress who had the fucking nerve to call it an assassination? Yeah, uh, Rose McGowan? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't she a fucking beauty with that fucking whiffle? She's got a fucking I don't even know who she is. Oh, she you used to be it. on, um... Ah, oh, what's... That show Charmed. Oh, Not yeah. the one that's on now. A different version, an older version uh, with, um... What's her name? Fucking, um... Alyssa fucking... Milano. Yes. Listen wow, that's on. what I, I knew they had a, she had a familiar look to her. <laughs> he was on that show. And uh, I don't know what else she's done. Uh, she's irrelevant. Who cares? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, and John Cusack came out of the woodwork. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Last fucking thing I remember him in is uh, Better Off Dead. Yep. 
Like fucking uh, Michael Bloomberg just came out earlier today. He was attacking Bernie for Bernie, saying, "Oh, it was an inhumane assassination." He was like, "Shut your fucking mouth!" He's like, "Shut up! You have no idea what you're talking about." Yeah, didn't Tulsi Gabbard stick up for Trump too? Yeah, yeah, they're all saying, "But like, you guys do remember that he's no, responsible she for for no, millions." No, didn't. Not for the airstrikes. No. Oh, she didn't. No, she didn't. Oh. The fuck? Do you know what we should do? You know what, Tulsi? You're in the fucking military. We'll send you to Iraq to go talk to them. How about that? Yeah. Right. You go discuss with them. You're so much fucking smarter than Trump. <coughs> the fucking one-way ticket. Yeah, Is send a body bag with her, too. Fucking, uh, I heard from a little birdie that, uh, the, that uh, Bill Barr is doing some investigations into Benghazi right now, right? Fucking, uh, I got the inside scoop that supposedly the stand-down orders were given by Hillary because the whole Benghazi... Uh, yeah, the, the guns and Stinger missiles, too. Yeah. And fucking uh, the ambassador that went over there, uh, uh, who was it? Was it an ambassador? Yeah, uh, what's his name? The ambassador that got killed over in Benghazi. Oh, yeah. Stevens. Watch out, watch out, watch out, chick. Yeah, they were running guns out of the embassy, and they knew if they had the fucking military had gone in, they would have found them. And the, the, it, isn't that funny? That's the second time Obama's gotten caught running guns. Uh, right, 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 right. That's, that's why the order was given. That's how they think you, you make money being the president. Right. How stupid. Let's go gangster. Okay. You know what I mean? That's the only yeah. thing you can come up with. And we talk about Trump acting like a mafia boss. Mm. Here they are, fucking running drugs to the car, guns to the fucking cartels. Yeah, exactly. They should have been going to the drug companies. They're the ones that made billions and billions of dollars. Yeah. Uh, oh, what else was I going to say about the fucking? Uh... Yeah, they dropped a Moab. Oh, did they? When was this? The one that killed Suleimani, I think. Oh, my God. Really? Another Moab, huh? It makes a statement. Well, it's the biggest... It's the biggest uh, ballistic missile that's non-nuclear. Yeah, it's the biggest conventional bomb there is. Yeah, right. Right. The the mother of all bombs. I fucking love that. Everyone's... (laughs) Yeah, yeah, that is pretty cool. Um... Uh, uh, the whole, uh, uh, all the fucking uh, media outlets, all the lefty media outlets are screaming, World War Three. They're, they're, they're gonna fucking cause it if they keep, if they don't keep their mouth shut. Uh, yeah, one had the balls to say today that, that uh, people, American citizens, we're all up for grabs now for the Iranians. Yeah, yeah okay. Well, come to my house and get me, Mr. Iranian person. I'm home. Well, it's going to do well, something in America. Because it, it's so easy to get in that borders. It's fucking ridiculous. They, they'll get in here if they don't have people here. And, and, you know what I mean? This is the time I mean, they would use sleeper. You know what I mean? Uh, to get if, back. Right. Even if they detonated right. a nuclear bomb in a major city, right? What do you think would happen? What do you think our response would be? To and turn it, whoever fucking sent it into a sheet of glass. Exactly. And they know it. And the Russians are fucking going. The, the Russians would lose their fucking mind. So what in China? Because they know what happens. We launch. They launch. They launch. Britain launches. Israel launches. Pakistan launches. Yeah. Fucking everyone launches. It's global Armageddon. Right. Yep. Or. The end of the world. Or you can stay out of our way. Because we are destroying Iran. We're doing yeah. it. Do you want global? Oh, uh, well, it sent a clear message to fucking Putin and uh, and Kim over there. And she, too. Fucking, it lets them know that Trump is not to be fucked with. Well, see, do you know what the... the that's the problem. Because the, he's a crazy fucking motherfucker. Uh, oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. He's the... Uh, He's the total we violent in, We get one bomb and mother MOAB and he'll be gone. Because that gets uh, get down underground, it sucks out all the oxygen and you uh, choke to death. Yeah, and then it ignites 
it, it, it uh, releases like a like a like a nitrogen or something like that, and it ignites. <laughs> Freaking uh, this this kid I know, fucking maintenance worker. He's got a government contract, and uh, he was like, you know, I probably shouldn't be telling you this shit. He goes, I'm gonna tell you anyways, though. He's like, fucking, I'm. He's like, I helped patent this fucking uh. This fucking, it's like a thermite grenade, right? You throw it into a cave, it sucks all the oxygen out, it blasts a bunch of nitrogen in it, ignites it, and collapses the fucking cave. It's like, so that way, you don't have to waste any personnel going in to get people. Yep. It just kills everything. It's a, it's a guaranteed fucking, yeah, clear! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he was also showing me this fucking liquid taser he had patent too. Things fucking badass. Liquid taser? It's a liquid taser. He showed it to me. He's like, "Yeah, I just got this bad boy patent." I have no idea, but it sends voltage through a fucking stream, and it just ah. Uh, he's like, "This thing will kill you." Oh, like you're sending it through salt water or something like that. That's yeah, right. He's got a, He's got this liquid shit that it sends voltage through. He was like, I can't tell you all the details, but he was like, check it out. It'd be like being maced and electrocuted at the same time. <laughs> is, the, is the taser run by um, liquid? Uh, I'm not sure. He didn't He didn't tell me too many details. Yeah, it's, it's, it probably shoots out a liquid. That yes, yeah, it shoots a stream. It shoots oh, a stream that's electrified. Right. Yeah, you know like how salt water conducts electricity? Yeah. It probably shoots a gel. Yes, it is a gel, you're correct. It is so a gel. He showed it to me. It's, it's fucking like cool, cool, man. And you, you remember the old Destroy All Humans video games? Nah, I was never a video game guy. Well, fucking, uh, it, it looks like a fucking alien gun. Crazy. He pulled it out of this big black case. He was like, look at this fucking thing. I want to try it. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. He's a fucking genius, but... He's got a drug problem. Yeah, they all they usually do. Yeah, yeah. All the great yeah. minds were fucking. It's addicts. people that have high anxiety or bipolar that come up with all this crazy shit because they think out of the box. You know what, my uh, my brother John, your uncle, uh, yeah, told me a story one time. He goes, "This is how um, people like addictive personalities are." He goes, yeah. "Usually smarter people." become addicted to things. Right. Because yeah, an right. idiot can just walk away from anything. Yeah. He goes, smart people become obsessed with things. Yes. They have to tinker with it or whatever. He goes, an idiot just walks away, okay. <laughs> and that's the truth. That's why every single thing I've ever tried, I've become addicted to. And that's why I don't try things. Yeah, yeah, I fucking hear you, man. <laughs> well, that's why I haven't bought a gaming thing, because I know if I buy a gaming thing, it's gonna, I'll be 500 hours a week, you know what I mean? I It'll consume you. Yes, Jimmy, don't do what I do. <laughs> when, when Sherry bought our, our first computer, I told her not to. Yeah. yeah. I said I'll become addicted to it, like everything I've ever tried. Yeah. And, and like two weeks later, I'm sitting there packing away for hours and hours. <laughs> and I'm, I'm looking up the stupidest shit I can find just to see if I can find it. Right. And there it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, fuck it. I'm going to watch it. I didn't expect to actually find it. <laughs> yeah, but sure, sure enough, you did. I told, I told my, wife I bought, I told you. my second wife bought me the game and thing. I told her I didn't watch. She goes, this will keep you occupied. I goes, yeah, I know it will. Too occupied. She didn't blame me, so she got the fucking thing. And I was taking time off from work. Of course. I fall asleep playing it. Then she gets pissed. Oh, yeah, that's when she went out and bought me the pink fucking yeah. fake sugar there. And uh, I, I just went nuts. I hip-checked her into the fucking... That's, that's like fucking somebody here needs a fucking loaded needle and gets pissed off because he's shot up. Yeah, right. <laughs> that, like, was, that was the end of that marriage. Yeah, don't worry, you'll love it. Fuck it yeah, man. you won't, though. Actually, <laughs> I loved sitting in front, I was in front of my computer because I'd put my headphones on and I'd hear nothing. No dogs yeah. barking, no wife barking. Plus the computers are bigger. Neighbors. The pictures are bigger, you know what I mean? So it ain't like you'd watch it before with the computers, for Christ's sake. It's like having a large phone. It, yeah, yeah. Like an iPad. Yeah. 
Yeah, now you got computer screens bigger than TVs. Right. I remember cassette drive computers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no idea. <laughs> it, it, you know what a cassette is? Like, you yeah, yeah, to yeah tape. Yeah, it was driven by a cassette. And it was no shit. I worked at a place that made selectric typewriters, but you, whatever you typed, it went on to uh, cassette. Is that oh, the, that's kind of cool. Each cassette held like 100 pages or something. And who was buying them up was all attorneys and law firms. Right. So right. Got, uh, for dictation, mm. basically. Uh, Josh, if you had ever grown up in our time, the, the level of technology was horrendous. Yeah, the, the, the evolved... I'm sure I would have had more fun back then, though. Hey. I can't fucking walk up the street and chew gum without somebody up my ass. Uh, do you know what my original phone number was at your, nana, uh, at your nana's house? Oh, what, at, at Grammy's? Grammy's, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I, I still remember Grammy's phone number. It's 978-664-1293. Do you know what it was when I was a kid? No. Two eight six three. Two eight six three. As long as you were in town. No shit. I only had to dial the four numbers. <laughs> no way. Yep. <laughs> well, that's fucking crazy. If you were out of town, you had to dial the uh, the exchange. But if you were oh. in town, you didn't have to. Oh, okay. Oh, that's fucked up how that works. Uh, the girl that lived uh, down the road a bit. Uh, well, I, I'm not going to say her name. She had a potty line. All right. You know what a party line is, right? Uh, I think we Somebody shares your phone number. Yeah. And if they're on the phone, you have to hang up. And if you're on the phone, they have to hang up. Oh, that's aggravating. Oh, she used to yell at them people because they were constantly on the phone. She'd be like, you know, I want to talk too. And she'd just rave at them. I can't blame her, though. No, like, Who's this? Phone this? number. That's like being in jail and you get the guy, hey, your time's up. Basically. You know what I mean? So you got to start a fight to get a phone call. Yeah, yeah well, you only get up to like 15 minutes or something like that. That's it. Yeah, yeah and then... You call it a party uh, line. There was no party as far as she was concerned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I'm fucking wiped. Yeah, sorry I haven't been on recently, guys. I've been dealing with a fucking job from hell. Where was it? Fucking Springfield, Agawam, but Old Springfield. Did you Agawam, go to did you go yeah. to the Golden Corral? No, I didn't. What? You old man didn't take you? No, I don't think it's there anymore. Oh well, they're opening one here in Manchester. Oh really? Yes. Ooh. Oh man, gives me an excuse to come by. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You know my door is always open. Yeah, I, I'm I, I do for know the weekend. That. The old lady went away for the weekend. Oh, no hey, shit. Yeah, do you know what I'm going to do later? Got a house pass. Yeah. Uh, yeah I'm, I was going to say, now you can watch porn on your TV without being annoyed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Netflix Just, got porn? No. No? If I wanted to, I could actually send it from my uh, phone, open to a the TV. Fly, to my TV. Oh, yeah. yeah. I haven't done that. What you don't you don't hook up to the TV with your phone? Oh yeah, I do. But I've watched I've watched YouTube and stuff like that. But that's basically all I do is watch YouTube on it. Nah. Yeah. Uh, Netflix. I got Disney Plus, but I only got it on the bedroom TV. Can't figure. Oh, you gotta come up and help me. Yeah. Yeah, you I'm got it. On my TV in my living room. Yeah, I can do that as long as as long as you know your account information. I got you. Oh yeah, yeah. Sherry knows all that shit. Oh, yeah. On the other hand, nope. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's not a problem. Uh, awesome. It should be pretty straightforward. Uh, do you have a smart TV? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, no problem. She figured it out in the bedroom. She couldn't figure <coughs> it out. And, of course, that's the TV I want to watch it on. Oh, have you watched The Mandalorian yet? No, I have to and say nothing. I won't say nothing, but it's fucking awesome. Yeah, that's Is what it, everyone said. It's watch. good. You know, I you know, I, I thought it was gonna bomb. You know, I was like, eh, it's Disney, fucking Star Wars, fuck that yeah. shit. Nope. They did a fantastic job with it. It's very action y. Uh it's like a new storyline every episode. It's fucking great. Yeah, um do you know why? Because nobody that's involved with the movies involved with the T V series. Well, 
not no, but there's so what they're doing but is they not the decision makers of what you're seeing on the screen. Right, right, right. They've got and a totally different writing staff and stuff. Yes, was, yes, they do. Um, the Mandalorian, okay. supposedly, they've wanted to make it for years. George Lucas had that in the works, but just never came to fruition, he said. Well, you know what? It, it, I'm, well, I'm, if they took over, that's what I mean. I... Disney usually kills everything they get their hands on. They finally took... A, I, I, what I think is, they were so sick because of the last trilogy, all they oh, yeah. did was get killed. And it deserved oh, yeah. to be killed. Uh, yep. Yeah. So they said, you know what, do something on the, the channel, because that's what we want to build this thing up, and we're going to stay the fuck out of your hair. Oh, hey, uh, fucking, so, uh, you guys, you guys don't give a fuck about the Star Wars trilogy, correct? No, I don't give a shit, I've watched all the spoilers. <laughs> fucking, uh, uh, the, the reason fucking Rey can do everything she can do? She's a Palpatine. Yes, 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 yes. She's his granddaughter. Yeah. Yeah, and then she changes her name to Skywalker, the end. Yeah, the end. Yep. I haven't seen it yet, but I just, I know things. I'm going to go see it just to see it. I watch, I listen to, um, there's this guy, he's a Scotsman, he's called the uh, Critical Drinker, and he reviews <laughs> movies, and he, you can tell he's half of the bag doing it, but he's, oh, yeah. cause he's Scottish. So it yeah. just sounds cool as fuck. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. And he just destroyed Sky, uh, the last, uh, I don't know, last the Sky rise Walker. of Skywalker. The rise of Skywalker. Thank you. That's how interested in I'm. I am in seeing it. Yeah, right. When I seen the last one, you watched it with me. Yeah. Was that fucking embarrassing? Yeah, well, I, I said I didn't even know it was uh, Carrie Fisher. Oh, it was so fucking cringeworthy when she's Well, see, you know what? Honestly, I think the first one was good. Uh, the, I, I liked Seven. I thought it wasn't bad. But uh, Two is just a fucking shit show all the way through. It was like, what the fuck? All uh, uh, Seven did was remind me of the, the original movies. The Panther yeah. and the Droid. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, and then, then the fucking first one was just the Death Star all over again. Yeah, every, it was all the same. Instead of the Rebellion, it was the Resistance. Instead of the Empire, it was the First Order. Yeah, it's fucking stupid. Well, they think they can get a whole new brand new kids. This is how Disney thinks. They're going from, uh, you know how it is when you were young, even the difference between a year and 12, 14 months. Yeah. The difference, you know what I mean? Right, right. They're trying to get generations. Yeah, but the thing is, it's not working. They're, they're not selling toys. Their toys, uh, they go directly from the shelf to the clearance rack. <laughs> I'm, I'm not kidding you. I can go and buy anything from the new trilogy, any of the toys, collectibles and stuff, get yeah. some pennies on the dollar. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the thing, though. Most kids don't fucking play with toys anymore, either. They got iPads now. Yeah, no, 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 but you got, still, you still got the people that are collectors. Yeah, that's you true. Them because they collect them, and they're not even collecting That's them. not, you guys said, I never collected comic books or any other field and stream, none of that shit. Oh, fucking, so I was at, uh, when I was in Springfield, I was shooting the shit with housekeeping, and, uh, fucking, she was like, uh, we were talking about Marvel and all sorts of shit on how she has the original comics and all that stuff. She goes, hey, you want something cool? I was like, yeah, fuck it, why not? She uh, she gave me a calendar book with uh, all the original Marvel art inside of it. Oh, no shit. Yeah, it was pretty cool. She was like, here you go, I got a second one. Fucking take it. I was like, awesome. That's nice of you, I appreciate it. I got something to collect. The old lady yeah. that just died here? Yeah. Who? Uh -huh. Judy, the old that lady died. here that di just died. Oh. She, she was on the dyke persuasion. Yes, but she was an awesome person. She yeah, was she nice. was good. I liked her. Yeah. Hold on. A few months, like, I don't know, like six months ago, Niji comes over with this, um, it was a pillowcase, a Star Wars pillowcase, still in its bag from the original, it was made when the original Star Wars 70s. came out. Yep. yep. And it's still in its bag. I don't know, shit. 
He's like, I knew you liked Star Wars, so I grabbed it. She was like, Does, do you know anyone that would want this? She's like, I absolutely know somebody that would like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you have an original Star Wars pillow. Pillowcase. Pillowcase, that's fucking awesome, though. Yep. That's so cool. And it's like the colors of, um, like, it's like, um... What, a new hope? Like a sand color, almost like Tatooine, you know what I mean? Oh, that's, yeah. that's really cool. Yeah, yeah. Got it, my draw stashed away. I also got a, um, remember the old, they may still do this. It's not a poster, it's a, it's a wood. And it's painted instead of just a poster. Huh. I got one in my bedroom. What, a, a Star Wars one? The original Star Wars, yeah. It was from when it came out in the theaters. They would put, Oh, that's so cool. Oh, they were freestanding. I have an original uh, fucking Black Light Led Zeppelin poster from 86. Mm, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? 86. That's it. I was still in jail. <laughs> Yeah, fucking some some fucking crackhead in Havel sold it to uh, oh, me and my dad. Oh yeah, yep. repoing. Yep. Yeah, cars. I, I wasn't even a fucking speck in the cosmic scale yet. <laughs> I was already old enough to drink. I was thirty years old. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, you gotta yeah. get up here when you get a chance, Josh. Is your uh, dude? I was I was gonna come over for fuck. Fucking New Year's, but uh, my buddy was like, nah, blah, blah. it just turned into a shit show. Yeah, doesn't it always? We fucking always New does. New Year's Eve. What'd you do? Had a no, show. it was New Year's Day. No, but the night before I did shows. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, that's right. I had to do it for Maria. She wanted right. me to come on. Yeah, get up here as soon as you can. Yes. Um, We may be selling and getting out of here. Oh. Good. Place sucks, yeah. anyways. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, it does. I'm, I'm going to start looking in. Uh, I, I've obviously got to buy another trailer. Yeah. I just want to buy one in a nicer park. Oh, hey, you can go be Gail's neighbor. No, that, I, said, <laughs> I, I said nicer park. <laughs> it is nicer. Really? You it's nicer. You it's didn't nicer. Go on the backside, dude. Yeah. yeah is this the. There's some sketchy-looking uh, trailers back there. Yeah, I've been back there before. Yeah, looking at a place in, um, I think it's uh, Wyndham. Wyndham? Where the fuck is Wyndham? North of us. North of us. Oh, okay. Yeah. What, towards Concord? No, 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 no. Between uh, Derry, about eight miles Derry and here. Salem. It's about eight oh, miles okay. That's not bad. Yeah. And... There's uh, Clam Haven right down the street, which is my favorite seafood joint. So, Ooh. Yeah. Jimmy, you trying to get the fuck out of there, too? No, I want to stay and see what uh, this guy's going to pay $5 million for the property or not. If not, we get to split it, because we only owe $2 million. Wait, what? We it's only a co-op. Owe... We have a loan on this thing. Yeah, and have been, I don't know, since the beginning of the co-op, I believe, but it, we owe $2 million. On, on what? The, the whole lot? Yeah. Yeah. For what? Everybody gets a piece of it? If it sells, it, then they get to keep the profit between them. I won't be here by then, unless it happens quickly. So I is it go- all of the people in the park that get it? Yes, by the anyone that owns it. Yes. But everyone oh, okay. own it now. It, it, no, well, that's you pretty cool. Get nothing. <laughs> yeah, I figured. But yeah, I, that I, would be I, a I, nice I chunk of change. I'm going to miss Jimmy, though. I'm going to miss you, Jimmy. No. Mm-hmm. What time is it? I don't know. What time is it? Six. No, okay. We still got some time. Yeah, uh, you ran and invited me to go over the house. I said, oh, no, really? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a first. It's not, that, it's not that I hate people. It's just I don't want to talk to them. Yeah, no, I get it. No, trust me, fucking... I have family hit me up on Facebook all the time. I don't answer half the time. I just don't <laughs> fucking... I'm so busy. Or I just... I just I just want to be left the fuck alone. Yep. Well, not for nothing. When you get phone calls from people, and the only time they call you is when they're drunk. Or if they want something. It, well, that, you, nobody... Anyone knows to come to me for something is, like, useless. I'm broke. <laughs> 
<laughs> he just he just called to cry on my shoulder. <laughs> Which yes, I the ice cold <laughs> shoulder. Effort into that. Oh well, hey, at least you guys are talking again. Oh yeah 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 yeah. I've never stopped talking to Gail. Oh, I thought you matter. guys hadn't. I thought you guys hadn't talked in much of you. Yeah, well, she... Never mind, yeah, but... Yeah, there, right. Yeah, we did have a little problem. Yeah. But it wasn't that so much. It was the fact that, like I said, I'm sick of being everyone's fucking psychiatrist. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I fucking... Too. Paul, I'm right there with you. I am right there with you. I'm fucking everybody's therapist. Yeah. Everyone's. I'm fucking sick of it. Yep. Uh, well, you know... Fucking, oh. that's what the weed's for. <laughs> my, yeah, really. My wife lost her sister the other day, too. Oh, I tell her I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'll let her, I'll let you, I'll tell her that you said that. She's, uh, she's gone for the weekend. She went up to her cousin's house. Oh, did she? No, do you know why? Because she'll come back in a better mood. Yeah. You know I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, you got a good point. She'll spend some time with her fam, get drunk. Yep, yep. yep. Yeah, that's all you need sometimes. Fun. They probably got a bonfire going right now, having laughs. Got the hey, you and you and John are still in contact and shit, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking uh, next time you guys plan something, I'd like to come up and you know, hang out with you guys. I want to go see John on my own accord, but you now fucking it seems like our schedules don't match up very well. Yeah, well, the last time I seen John, we were uh, dumping Pete into a river. No, uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. Oh man, the shot loved that one. That's a joke shot. Fucking get a, a, a good laugh out of. Yeah, yeah I fucking Betty would. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey, man, I just don't want to run over. Eight fifty nine. No. All right, yeah. Josh. Why don't you uh, do a shout out to the troops? Sure. Um, I just wanted to thank all service members serving here and abroad. Uh, thank you for being the greatest military in the world. You guys are awesome. Please stay safe. Uh, I wanted to... Yeah, you, you know what? No, that's it. <laughs> Trump's got your back. Yeah, and, yep, yep. And a shout-out to the Don. Uh, all right, everybody. Next week, same time. See ya. Have a good night. Tell me how.